Welcome to the public hearing for the State Road 520 Merritt Island Causeway Access Management Project in Brevard County, Florida. The purpose of this hearing is to receive public input and to give interested persons an opportunity to express their views concerning the location and conceptual design of the proposed improvements. FDOT staff are available to discuss the plans and answer questions after this presentation. Public participation is encouraged and solicited without regard to race, color, religion, sex, age, national origin, disability, or family status. The purpose of this public hearing is to share information about the proposed access management design project along State Road 520 Merritt Island Causeway between Newfound Harbor Drive and South Banana River Drive. This public hearing also serves as an official forum to give you the opportunity to verbally express your opinions and concerns about this project. In November 2010, Florida Senate Bill 1842 was enacted, which requires the department to hold a public hearing whenever modifications to property access are proposed along a state highway. Hearings must be held 180 days prior to finalization of the design of the project. This public hearing is being held relative to state project number 439777-1. The FDOT is designing this project to add a raised median within the existing two-way left turn lane, which improves safety by reducing conflicts between left turn movements and through traffic. This public hearing was advertised consistent with all federal and state requirements. Letters were sent to 24 elected officials, 27 government partners, 16 agencies and businesses, and 528 property owners or stakeholders. Newspaper ads were published in the Florida Today newspaper, Brevard County Edition, on Sunday, July 8th. 2018, and again on Sunday, July 15, 2018. An ad was also published in the Florida Administrative Register. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting either the Florida Department of Transportation, District 5 Office, or the Tallahassee Office. This contact information is also provided on a sign displayed near the sign-in table. This project is being conducted by FDOT District 5 in compliance with all applicable federal environmental laws and pursuant to 23 United States Code Number 327 and the implementation of the Memorandum of Understanding between FDOT and the Federal Highway Administration, signed on December 14, 2016, with the FDOT Office of Environmental Management in Tallahassee as the approving authority. The project is located on Merritt Island Causeway from west of Newfound Harbor Drive to east of South Banana River Drive in Brevard County. The improvements will add a raised median within the existing two-way left turn lane, which will improve safety by reducing the potential for conflicts between left turn movements and through traffic. This project is the result of an access management study conducted by Comprehensive Engineering Services Incorporated for the Department of Transportation as part of a district-wide community traffic safety program completed in June 2016. The 0.65 mile corridor is a six-lane facility with a center two-way left turn lane. The posted speed limit is 45 miles per hour 
and the corridor has an access management classification of access class 3. The proposed improvements would bring the project limits into compliance with current access management criteria by the installation of a restricted raised median. The purpose of the project is to bring this segment of the State Road 520 corridor into compliance with current FDOT access management criteria. Proposed changes to this roadway typical section include the construction of a 16-foot raised median with curb and gutter, two 11-foot travel lanes to the inside, and one 12-foot and one 14-foot travel lane on the outside. This eliminates random left turns from the existing two-way center left turn lane. Proposed changes to the roadway typical section where one-way left turns can be made include the construction of an 11-foot left turn lane and a 4-foot concrete traffic separator, thereby eliminating the two-way left turn lanes. Pavement overbuilding will be required at the proposed left turn lane traffic separator to maintain positive drainage to the outside existing drainage system. Changes in the drainage patterns are minimal and will not affect the existing outside ditches or the existing drainage system. Ten utility providers have been found within the project limits. Utility coordination will be required to determine adjustments so there are no conflicts with the proposed construction. No utility structures or covers have been found within the limits of the median construction. A permit determination letter was submitted to the Environmental Permits Office to the attention of the District 5 Permits Coordinator for review and concurrence during the design process. This project is not anticipated to exceed one acre of soil disturbing activities and will not require National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System or NPDES coverage under the Florida Department of Environmental Protection or FDEP generic permit for stormwater discharge from construction activities. Wetlands have not been noted within the right-of-way. Signing and pavement marking modifications will be completed to incorporate the proposed intersection improvements. All mainline signing within the project limits will be inventoried. Any existing signs that conflict with the proposed pavement markings will be addressed. New sign assemblies will be constructed at existing driveway connections. There is some fiber optic cable within the corridor. Any equipment disturbed will be reinstalled. Video detection will be modified to ensure coverage of proposed lane improvements for the intersections at Newfound Harbor Drive, North Banana River Drive, and Milford Point Drive. Pedestrian lighting will be provided at three signalized intersections within the project limits. Adjustment or relocation of the existing streetlight poles may be required based on the results of the proposed lighting design. The project does not include landscaping. The existing roadside landscaping is to remain. The existing brick landscape pavers in the median at Newfound Harbor Drive will also remain. The project team will coordinate with emergency responders, Space Coast Area Transit, and the Brevard County Schools Transportation Department to update them on the design plans, schedules, traffic patterns, and maintenance of traffic plans to avoid bus schedule impacts and allow continuous access to emergency vehicles. 
Now we'll have a discussion about access management and how it affects this project. Access management is the planning and control of the location, spacing, design, and operation of driveways, median openings, and street connections to a roadway. Access management designates where and how vehicles enter and exit a roadway, helps protect public investment in roadways, and improves public safety by preserving mobility, reducing delays, and minimizing crashes. The illustration shows a collision that could have been prevented by closing the median or barrier where the westbound automobile is trying to turn into or cross the eastbound travel lane. Conflict points are locations along a roadway where the paths of two vehicles can legally cross. Each conflict point is a location that has the potential for a crash. The goal of this project is to limit the number of conflict points by closing median openings. This will restrict vehicles from turning across the lanes of traffic at these locations, which will eliminate conflict points. This will increase safety along the roadway and reduce traffic delays. U-turns are generally safer than direct left turns. A study of the safety and operational implications of U-turns versus direct left turns on multi-lane arterial roadways with a non-reversible median was conducted in Florida in 2001. The analysis of 250 sites revealed that right turn plus U-turn maneuvers on six-lane arterials exhibited an 18% lower crash rate and 27% lower injury or fatality rate than direct left turns. The study also found that U-turning drivers experience less delay than those making a direct left turn from a driveway under high volume conditions. In 2010, Section 335.199 Florida Statutes was passed, requiring FDOT to notify all affected property owners, municipalities, and counties of a proposed project that will divide a state highway, erect median barriers, or close or modify an existing access to an abutting property at least 180 days before the design is finalized. The law requires that FDOT hold at least one public hearing in the area where the project is located and receive public input to determine how the project will affect access to adjacent properties and the potential economic impact of the project on the local business community if applicable. This is an access management project. The current access management classification is class three. The classification will remain the same after the proposed improvements are constructed. You can download a copy of the Florida Department of Transportation's Access Management Brochure for more information. Go to the website at www.dot.state.fl.us and type Access Management Brochure in the search box at the upper right hand corner of the home page. For more information about this project, please visit www.cflroads.com. This website is the FDOT's living platform to keep you and the public informed of ongoing and future projects. You are encouraged to visit this website, which contains the links to easy access to online information and to stay current with the status of the project. Once you have accessed the project website, you will be able to view the current project schedule details, project contact information, and access project files such as this presentation. Type the project number 439777-1 
in the search box at the top of the page. Then click on Go. When the page opens, click on the project file name. We encourage you to share your comments with us. There are many different ways you can submit your comments. Provide your comments verbally during the public comment period following the presentation. Fill out a comment form and drop it in the comments box at the comments table. Take a comment form with you and mail it to the address shown on the form. Email your comments to Megan Owens, FDOT Project Manager, at megan.owens at dot.state.fl.us. Make a comment to the court reporter. Use the Ask a Question button on the CFL Roads website under the Project Manager's contact information. All comments received by August 3, 2018 will become part of the official public hearing record. After this presentation, we will collect speaker request cards from anyone wishing to make a verbal statement. It is important that we have your information on a speaker card for the public record. Because it is very important for us to hear from those who wish to speak, we will not be responding to questions during the public comment period. Once the comment period is finished, Project staff will be available to answer your questions. If you have questions or would like more information, you may contact Ms. Megan Owens, FDOT Project Manager, by mail, telephone, or email. Thank you for your interest in this project and for taking time to attend this public hearing. We will now call upon those who have turned in speaker cards. If you have not filled out a speaker card but you wish to speak, please hold up your hand and a member of the project team will bring one to you. When your name is called, please come forward. Then state your name and address into the microphone. If you represent an organization, municipality, or other public body, Please provide that information as well. We ask that you limit your comments to two minutes. Again, the project team will not be answering questions during this portion of the public hearing. Members of the project team will be available after the formal comment period to answer your questions on a one-on-one -on -one basis. 